Welcome on YouTube, welcome back to another brand new video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize Call of Duty Black Ops 6 for better FPS, get better performance, reduce your input latency, frame drops and so much more so make sure to stick around till the end and with all this said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, so first thing first is the essential Windows settings as always. For that, head over to settings on your PC and then go down to gaming. Head over to game bar and turn this thing off. Game bar turned off consumes less processes and less memory usage in the background, allowing you a headroom for your games to perform better. Right beneath that, you'll find graphic settings. Head over to that and then click on change default graphic settings. Enable both hardware extracted GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for windowed games, as both of them will help you to use your GPU for entering the game as well as reducing your input latency. Head back to graphics and then click on the browse button over here and then go to the install location of your game. Once you're in your folder, you'll find cod.exe, click on add and once it is added over here, head over to options and then select high performance, click on save. Click on the browse button once again and then open up the mp24 folder which is available right over here and you'll find mp 24 codexe Click on add and then head over to options and then select high performance right over here and then click on save as well. This one is the most important one to do over here. Once you're done with that, head back to gaming, go over to game mode and turn this thing on. Game mode turned on will ultimately help you to gain extra FPS. So once that is done, close your settings and now let's move to the next step that is compatibility settings. And for that, go over to the install location of your game. Once you're in the Call of Duty HQ folder, you have to head over to the MP24 and then go all the way down until you find the MP24 core.exe. Right click on that and then go over to the properties. Head over to compatibility and then click on disable full screen optimizations and then click on change high DPI settings, select override high DPI scaling behavior, click on OK and then click on apply. Close this and close your folder. Next most important step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and then over here look for your local disk C, click on create and name it BO6. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss. Once this is done, click on the close button over here, close system properties. Next step is the COD BO6 that is Black Ops 6 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below and this is really essential right over here. You'll have in 8 simple folders over here and I know this is a lot to do but bear with me, it's gonna be worth it. Firstly is the CPU priority in which you'll find AMD and Intel CPU priority. Once again, if you have an AMD CPU like me, you have to double click and run the AMD CPU priority. And if you have an Intel CPU, you can double click and run the Intel CPU priority. This will help you to set up your CPU SFIO priority as well as usage priority. So once you're done with that, head back to the main folder, go over to the second folder. And for this one, I would recommend you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which one to choose from in this list right over here. You can simply apply that priority and your game will be working absolutely fine. Third is the RAM optimization folder in which I have left a ton of presets according to your PC. I use 32GB RAM so I need to run this one. It could be different for you so you can select according to your RAM in the preset right over here and you can always reset it back to default once again if you don't like the performance out of it. Next folder is the programs folder in which I have left the MSI mode in the 3.0 as well as cache cleaner. Let's begin up with the cache cleaner run this as administrator and this will start deleting all unwanted and unnecessary files on your PC. These are the temporary files created by applications that were necessary in the past but does not but is not needed in the future so these are the temporary files which is cleaned and I recommend you guys to clean it every now and then. It will automatically quit so you are done with that. Next is the MSI Mode Duty 3.0, right click and run this as administrator again and this simple screen will open right in front of you. What you're looking for is your graphic card in this list, simply select the MSI button in front of it and for the intro priority set this thing to high and then click on apply. This will set your GPU priority to a higher state allowing it to perform much better in gaming. Next is unwanted services, simply head over to this folder and you'll find in a lot of services right over here. If you use Bluetooth devices, leave the disabled Bluetooth services. But other than that, I would recommend you guys to disable every single one from this list and it will help you to turn off unnecessary services running in the background, consuming your CPU utilization, allowing you to gain extra FPS. Once again, if you want to revert any of these registries back to normal, you can always use the revert registries folder and you can revert all of them back to normal. Next is the power plan settings in which I have left the import ultimate performance power plan. And for that, you can right click and 
can run this as administrator and this will add up a power plan into your control panel. Once you're done with that, head over to power plans and you'll find in the ultra powerful plan or the ultimate performance plan in this list. If you find that, simply click on it and it will apply automatically. Next folder is the NVIDIA GPU optimization and this is for all of the users who have an NVIDIA graphic card and if you have an AMD graphic card, I'm going to be bringing up a new guide for AMD users as well. For this one, if you have an NVIDIA GPU, you can double click to open this thing up and you'll find in three simple folders. First is disable GPU energy driver, second is disable GPU power throttling and third is NVIDIA SFIO high priority. You have to make sure to run all of them and this will allow you to optimize the performance of your graphic card and help it to perform much better. Last is the batch tweaks and these are all related to your input latency and the performance of your game and for that the first one is BCD edit tweaks. Right click on that and run this as administrator and all it will do is follow the few sets of command right over here which will help you to optimize your PC. Similarly with the memory compression it will help you to disable your memory compression allowing you to save a lot of your CPU resources. Next is a disable process mitigation and once again it runs a powershell command on your pc which you do not have to type in manually all of the thing is done automatically using this batch file right over here and last is the latency tweak and once again it will follow a few set of commands over here including your disabling high precision event timers synthetic timers and dynamic tick deleting all of your input latency right away once you're done with all of these folders, you can close it and now let's move to the next step that is deanimating your windows and this is very important simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and over here you'll be popped into this screen simply select adjust for best performance and then click on show thumbnails instead of icons save taskbar thumbnail previews show window contents while dragging as well as smooth edges of screen fonts this will retain the basic look of your windows and disable all other unnecessary animations which are consuming your CPU utilization and this will help you to free up your CPU headroom for your games to perform much better. Right in this tab, you'll find advanced settings and here is the next step that is setting up your virtual memory. This is very important as well. For that, you have to click on the change button right over here and then deselect automatically manage paging file size. Then for the custom size, set this thing to 1361. This is an optimal size and for the maximum size, you have to set it half of your total physical memory. Once again, open up your calculator and multiply your installed physical memory that is your RAM with 1024. So I have 32 GB of RAM. I have to multiply it 1024. 24 and the value that I get over here I have to divide this whole value by 2 and this value is what I have to paste in the maximum size once it is done click on set click on OK, and this is how you optimally set your virtual memory for gaming once you're done with that simply click on OK next step is disabling sysmain and this is very important simply search for services.msc on your PC and once you're over here click on S button over here once you're in here you have to look for sysmain on your PC right click on that and head over to properties and then make sure that the startup type is set to disabled and if the service is running you have to make sure to stop it this will help you to improve your CPU's performance and it will also help you to reduce unwanted load on your PC next is disabling background applications and if you're using windows 10 it is really simple for you head over to settings look for background applications and disable it but on windows 11 you have to do it the hard way simply look for a local group policy editor this will only be available for windows pro users click on edit group policy and once you are in this window you have to extend it a bit so you can see everything head over to computer configuration and then administrative templates windows components app privacy and you'll find in let windows apps run in the background what you have to do is right click on that head over to edit button over here and then set this thing to enable to enable this policy on your pc and then default for all applications you can set this thing to force deny and it will deny all of the applications running in the background and this will reduce significant amount of load from your memory as well as your cpu because the applications running in the background behind your game is actually free now next step is fixing all of internet issues using no ping you can simply download this from the link in the description below and once it opens up it should look like this over here it offers you over 300 games to choose from you can simply search for call of duty over here and then simply click on select the server it will show you all of the nearest server to you that is hong kong 03 for me 
it will be shown with the least amount of ping and as soon as you click on optimize this game it will connect your pc to the game servers without any hindrance and this will in turn fix your packet loss ping issues latency and so much more the best part about no ping is the settings gear over here which offers you turbo games and once you turn this thing on you can reduce your keyboard latency by a ton and the boost fps panel by which if you apply all of these settings you can actually gain fps while you're playing the game which makes no ping absolutely worth it i'll be leaving a link to no ping down in the description below so you guys can go and check it out and get it for yourself because it is really worth it now once you're done with everything let's head into the game for the best in-game settings all right once you open up your game you'll see something called shaders preloading i highly recommend you guys to let it load to 100 percent as it will help you to optimize the game textures and load all of the shaders so you can have a smoother gaming experience coming to the best settings over here click on the settings gear and then scroll down to graphics your display mode should be set to full screen exclusive and then the display adapter should be your native GPU adapter. Your refresh rate should be the highest available and your display resolution should be your native monitor resolution. Nvidia Reflex Low Latency, I have set this into on plus boost. Eco mode consumption should be set to efficiency. VSync should be turned off. VSync menu should be turned off. Custom frame rate limit should be set to unlimited. Menu render resolution, set this thing to optimal. Pause game rendering should be turned off. HDR should be be turned off as well head over to the quality section and you'll find your graphic preset right over here i have set this thing to custom follow ahead with me the render resolution i have set this thing to 80 percent dynamic resolution should be turned off upscaling i recommend you guys to use nvidia dlss if you have an nvidia graphic card or the fsr 3.0 or fidelity fx cas as all three of them will help you to gain much better fps then you have the preset right in here i have set this thing to quality but if you guys have a super low end pc you guys can go and set this thing to balanced set the dlss sharpness to 85 percent and that should be it for vram scale target slide it all the way up to the maximum texture resolution i've set this thing to low anisotropic filtering set this thing to normal depth of field should be turned off nearby level of detail should be set to normal particle resolution should be set to low bullet impact should be turned off persistent effect should be turned off shader quality i have set this thing to medium but you guys can also set it to low for better fps on demand texture streaming should be set to minimal local texture streaming quality should be set to normal shadow quality low screen space shadow should be turned off ambient lighting should be set to off reflection should be off static reflection quality should be low tessellation should be turned near volumetric quality low deferred physics quality off weather grid volumes low and water quality set this thing to wave wetness once it is done head over to the view section and over here you'll find motion reduction set this thing to off fov you can slide it all the way up to 120 because that is how i like to play ads field of view should be set to affected weapon field of view should be set to wide vehicle field of view should be set to wide world motion blur should be turned off weapon motion blur should be turned off first person camera movement should be set to least and inverted flash bang should be turned off as well once it is done i believe that these are all the settings that you need for better fps in black ops 6 i hope this video helps you out if it does make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button also if you guys are not a channel member yet consider getting the membership as it really helps me out growing the channel as well we'll see you guys in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out